Hi, my name is Eric Slipsager. Welcome to the five minute podcasting demonstration. Today I will be showing you how quickly and easily a podcast can be created. First utilizing Mixcraft, which is an amazing audio recording and processing software tool. And then the AV My Podcast online podcast service, a turnkey creation and distribution system that enables anyone to podcast, even if they know nothing about creating a podcast. As you know, podcasting has become a very popular means for broadcasting information in the new millennium. Radio and television stations, independent broadcasters, schools, and students all have embraced this new method of communication because it makes effective broadcasting available for everyone. And when it comes to educating students, it simply makes sense to utilize the tools that they're already using. Today, Teachers are already utilizing the web, posting articles, audio, and even video. However, for most teachers, only the tech-minded can channel their information through this medium with guaranteed success. Well, that's until now, because what we are about to show you will empower every teacher to take advantage of the latest forms of communication technology. Your personal broadcast station is just a few clicks away. Now before we begin, let's give a basic understanding of the hierarchy of a podcast. A podcast can be envisioned as having two elements. There's a show and the episode. The first element is the show. Try to think of the structure of your favorite TV show, like say it's Friends. Friends is a show, but it would be nothing without the episodes. A podcast is exactly the same way. You create a show, and then you have the episodes which reside in that show. In this demonstration, we will first be recording an episode, and then we will demonstrate how you create the show and add the episode. Okay, now this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Inside of this demonstration, we are gonna teach you how easy it is to first record your audio and then get it into iTunes to be available for download. Once it's on iTunes, you can broadcast your message to your computer, your iPod, your iPhone, or whatever other listening tool you have available. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to create an audio recording of your voice. You will create this audio recording in the most popular audio playback format, an MP3 file. For this demonstration, we will be using Mixcraft by Acoustica. Mixcraft is a powerful piece of audio software which enables you to record your audio, mix it with audio beds, create audio loops to serve as background music, and many other things. Right now we are looking at the main screen. Watch how easy this is. On the top you see a listing of all the different tracks. Now they're all empty because we haven't recorded anything yet. To record your audio, you simply click on the desired track and hit arm, and you are now ready to record. To activate the record feature, you click on record and start talking. An audio strip will appear on screen as a WAV file in real time. For this demo, I will be recording the actual audio that will serve as our podcast. Okay, so let's start the timer and create our five minute podcast. Hi, my name is Eric Slipsager and welcome to our five minute podcasting demonstration. I can't talk too long because it will eat up all of my five minutes and our five minute podcast concept will not make sense. However, imagine you can talk as long as you want when making your podcast. Okay, and there we have it. We've now completed the first step, which is to record the audio. Now let's save the file into podcast audio format. From the file menu, select mix down to and then select MP3. And that's it, we're done, so stop the clock. Now that's part one. You simply open the program, record your audio, and then save it as an MP3 file. Now step two is to get your file online into the most popular broadcast destination on the internet, which is iTunes. For this, we shift our attention to avmypodcast.com, our turnkey podcast creation system. And as you will see, it is just as easy as making the audio recording. It only requires a few steps. So let's start the clock and get our audio file onto the iTunes store. We are working from the homepage of avmypodcast.com. 
After you have an account, you simply log in. The first screen that we are taken to is the podcast manager page, which is where you will create and control all of your podcast shows. Since this is our first podcast, there are none listed yet. Therefore, our first step will be to create a new podcast. Click New Podcast. We now advance to the New Podcast Creator screen. We start with the image. This is the image that is displayed within the iTunes Music Store. To load the image, simply click Browse, find the file, and hit Enter. Next, we have to give our podcast a title. I'll call this the 5 Minute Podcast. Next, we have to describe our show just like they do inside of a TV guide. What's our podcast about? This is where we enter the description, and for this, I'll type in, this podcast is really about nothing except for showing how easy it is to create a podcast. Next, we have keywords. Keywords are the terms that iTunes uses to categorize and find your podcast. Say you're doing a podcast on Shakespeare. You would enter Shakespeare as a keyword, and then anyone that used that term would be able to find it. For this, I'm going to put 5-Minute Podcast, Easy Podcasting. I can even ID the search through my name. Teachers especially like this, so I will enter Professor Slipsager. The next field is Author. Who created this? I'll just fill in my name. Lastly, we have Category and Subcategory. This is how iTunes categorizes and divides the podcasts. There are numerous topics like education, music, business, and more. For this demo, I'm going to select Education K-12. through After all of my information is set, I finally create my podcast by selecting What Else? Create Podcast. Stop the clock. So let's recap. We first created an audio file and saved it onto our desktop. This will serve as our podcast episode. We then created a podcast show by entering all those details into that last screen and uploading them to our personal podcast account. The last step is to add the episode that we created to that podcast, in turn creating a live podcast feed. So let's start the clock. After you created your podcast show, you are automatically returned to the main screen where you can see all of your podcast show's information. At this point, there are no episodes because the audio file is still sitting on your computer. Therefore, our last step is to add the episode. To do this, we simply click Add Episode. We are now on the Add Episode screen. At this point, we need to name our episode. I will call it Podcast Lesson Number 1. Who created this? I'll just fill in my name. Next is the description. What's it about? I'm going to put creating your first podcast using Mixcraft and AV My Podcast. And lastly, hit upload podcast. Now we see the episode uploading. Since this is a relatively small episode, it will go pretty quickly. After the episode finishes uploading, the program automatically returns you to the podcast viewer so that you can view your podcast. We're done, so stop the clock. How much time is remaining? Well, that was less than five minutes, and it's probably too late for me to call this show anything but the five minute podcast. In a way though, it does demonstrate just how simple this procedure is, and once you're comfortable with it, how quickly you will be producing your own one minute podcasts. There really is nothing else that needs to be done except for to add further episodes in the future. The podcast has been submitted to iTunes, and you will see it appear in the iTunes Music Store in about a day. But it's immediately available to be downloaded from your website using the iTunes Player right now. Let's conclude with the user's experience of seeing the podcast that we just created. I am willing to guess that most of your students already know how to do this because it's the same procedure that they already use to get their music, their videos, their movies, and more. Just in case you have never seen this procedure, you will be amazed by just how easy it is for someone to subscribe to your podcast. They just click on a direct link. The link can be on your school's website and it can even be password protected, but for now we're just going to check the link from our AV My Podcast account.
Click on the link. It launches iTunes and automatically subscribes you to the podcast show and its associated episodes. And as you can see, the download is also automatic. At this time, all that I have left to do is wait for it to finish downloading. Then once it's on my computer, I can listen to it through the iTunes player, or else if I want to listen to it later, I can put it on my iPod. Well, that concludes our broadcast for today, but yours begins tomorrow. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Mixcraft, the powerful audio processing software that you saw here, visit Acoustica.com. And lastly, to learn more about AV My Podcast, the premier turnkey podcast creation system, visit AVMyPodcast.com.